All right, hello and welcome. My name is Jason Welsh, and uh, what we got is a small tip for you as far as uh, two macros that produce really good geometry to sculpt on. And I'm going to keep this short. I'm going to keep it under five minutes so Vio understands it, and nobody has to actually download the movie. So what we're going to do is go to Macro and say New Macro. Under New Macro, what we're going to first do is make a good box. Go to the cube, click and drag the cube out, hit Edit, go to Frame, and you're going to find a bunch of triangles and a big mess. Okay, then we're going to, what we're going to do is go to Unified Skin, knock the resolution all the way down, the smooth all the way down, and make Unified Skin. What will happen is it will cast a Unified Skin under here. When I click on it, voila, nice uniform geometry. Now what I'm going to do is go down to Texture, Enable UVs, Reconstruct Subdivide all the way down, to about right here. This is the box that I want. And I'm going to say macro and macro. And this is going to be called make good box. This gets put in the Pixelogic ZBrush 3 Z Startup Macros Miscellaneous Directory. Okay, whenever you're making more than one macro, make sure you always initialize ZBrush. This probably takes the longest thing in the actual tutorial. Now you can also shut ZBrush down, but you know that initialization is, doesn't hurt it whatsoever. In fact, it clears out a lot of mess, memory, junk. Come on. Okay, now with the second macro, what we're going to do is go macro, new macro, go to a box, yes, a box to make a round circle, it's weird, okay, now to click on frame, go to unified skin, resolution all the way down, Cement smooth all the way down, make unified skin, again, clicking here, Texture enabling the UVs. Geometry reconstruct all the way down. This time I'm going to delete higher. Divide, divide. This is a perfect ball to sculpt on because of the simple fact that it has no polar cap to it. Meaning that the character's face, eyes, nose, mouth can all go into these areas without ever having to. Um, worry about that polar cap getting stretched on uh, the weird ball that Pixelogic provides us. Okay, so macro and macro. And this one's going to make a good ball. Now just know that when you first start up ZBrush, you run this script or this macro if you're going to sculpt that day. And you can stretch this to very high limits without it really breaking on you. Uh, don't try to have a ball go like this and then run that script. All it will do is actually make more levels on this ball. So make sure you're either doing it when you first start up or uh, make sure you initialize ZBrush per macro. Alright, so this has been a tip by Jason Welsh and enjoy.